This video will build upon my previous video on constructions. If you haven't watched that one, I recommend you watch it first. There'll be a link in this video's description. A locus is a set of points that follow the same rule. The word loci is simply the plural of locus. So you could have one locus, but if you have lots of them, then all of these are called loci. The first locus that we're going to look at is a locus of points that are an equal distance from a single point. Remember, a locus is just a set of points that follow the same rule. So the rule this time is they must be an equal distance from a single point. So we'll start with a single point, like this one here, and we're going to give it a name, so we'll call it the point P. Now we want to mark on the locus, which is any point that is an equal distance from this point. Normally this equal distance will be given to you in the question. For example, let's say it's four centimeters. So if we draw a four centimeter line like this, we're looking for any point that's this far away from the single point. So if we put this line onto the point P here, then this point here is four centimeters away. So we want to mark any other points that are also four centimeters away. This one would be four centimeters away. So would this one. So would this one, and this one, and in fact any of these points, and actually any of these ones. So we can see that all of the points that are four centimeters away from this point P form a circle. So the locus of points that are an equal distance away from a single point is just a circle. Let's have a look at how an exam question could be worded on this locus. It could say, construct the locus of points that are exactly five centimeters away from the point A. So for this question, the distance away is five centimeters. So we'll need a ruler and we'll take a pair of compasses to help us draw the circle. And notice I've set the width to five centimeters. If I now take the pair of compasses and place it on A and then draw a circle, this circle will have a radius of five centimeters, which means every point on it is exactly five centimeters away from the point A. So this will be the answer to the question. There are two other loci that are related to this one. What if instead the question said this? This time we want the points that are not exactly five centimeters from A, but are within five centimeters of A. This means all of the points that are four, three, two, one, or even 1.9 or 2.6 centimeters away from A. So any number that's less than five. Those would be all of the points that are inside of the circle. So for this one, we would need to shade the inside of the circle. It's also possible for the question to be worded like this. This time we want all of the points that are more than five centimeters from A. So six centimeters, seven centimeters, and so on. These would be all of the points that are outside of the circle. So we would shade everything that's outside of the circle. Let's move on to the next locus. This time we're going to look at a locus of points that are an equal distance from two points. So we'll need to draw two points. Let's take this point here, which we'll call P and this one Q. So we're looking for the points that are an equal distance from the two points. So this point here, for example, would be no good. It's much closer to the point P than it is to the point Q. And for the same sort of reason, this point here will be no good as well. It's much closer to Q than it is to P. We're looking for the points that are the same distance between P and Q. So one right in the middle here would work. This one is the same distance to P as it is to Q. So where are the other points that are also an equal distance between P and Q? Well, if we take this point and raise it up a little bit, this point is still the same distance to P as it is to Q. And we could also take that original point and lower it a little bit. And this one is the same distance to P as it is to Q. And so are these two here. They're the same distance. And in fact, any of these points are also the same distance. So the locus of points forms a straight line like this. If we connect P and Q together, you'll notice that these two lines here actually form a right angle. So you may recognize this locus of points from my previous video as a perpendicular bisector. So if you're ever asked to construct a locus of points that are an equal distance from two points, then you're just constructing the perpendicular bisector of the line connecting those two points together. Let's have a look at an exam style question. The question could say, construct a locus of points that are the same distance from points A and B. And here we have the points A and B. So if we are the same distance between those two points, we know we want the perpendicular bisector. So if we take a pair of compasses, open them up over half of the length of the line, draw an arc like this, then without changing the size of the compasses, repeat this at point B, and then connect together the two intersection points, we'll end up with this straight line here, which is the perpendicular bisector, and therefore the locus of points. Now there is another question that's related to this one. 
What if instead they ask for the locus of points that are closer to point A than point B? Well, we know that the locus that we've constructed here is the lines that are the same distance to point A and point B. So any of the points to the left of this line must be closer to point A. So we would shade any of the points to the left of this line. For the next locus, we're looking for a locus of points that are an equal distance from a single line. So a single line would look something like this. And then we want any point that's an equal distance away from this line. Just like in the first locus, the exam question will give us this distance. When we talk about the distance between a point and a line, we need to be careful about how we define this. Take this point here. The distance of this point to the line would be this distance, which is say about two centimeters. We do this because this is the shortest distance from the point to the line. You couldn't, for example, say measure this distance and say the point is five centimeters away from the line because it's possible to get from the point to the line in only two centimeters. So we always define it as the shortest distance away from the point to the line. With that in mind then, let's have a think about this locus. The equal distance that we're looking for will be given to you in the question. So for this one, let's imagine it's four centimeters again. So we're looking for any point that's this far away from the line. So if we take this line, we can see that this point here is four centimeters away from the line. And so is this one, and this one, and this one, and any of these. And we could do the same above the line. All of these are four centimeters away as well. Where this locus gets interesting is at the side. This is four centimeters from the line. So is this one, and this one, and again, any of these. So we end up with a semicircle at the side here and exactly the same on the opposite side. So all of these blue points here are exactly four centimeters away from the red line. So this here is the locus of points that are four centimeters away from the line. It forms this shape here. Let's have a look at an exam question on this locus. The question could say, construct the locus of points that are exactly five centimeters away from the line AB. And here is the line AB. So we'll start by taking a ruler and a pair of compasses and once again opening them to five centimeters since that's the length given in the question. We'll place the pair of compasses on point A and draw ourselves a nice arc that goes like this. We'll then repeat this process at point B, so we'll draw an arc like this. If we then take a ruler and connect together these two arcs, and the same at the top, we will have constructed the locus. Just like with the previous loci, there are ones that are related to this one. The question could have instead been worded like this. So all of the points that are within five centimeters of the line AB. This is all of the points that are inside the locus we previously constructed. So we would need to shade in all of this region here. And again, it could be written like this. So all of the points that are more than five centimeters from the line AB, which is everything outside of this shape. So we would shade all of this. And now we'll move on to the final locus. This time it's a locus of points that are an equal distance from two lines. So we'll need to draw two lines, like these two here. And then we're looking for any points that are an equal distance from these two lines. Remembering that you measure the distance from a point to a line as the shortest distance between them. So if we took this point here, for example, it's much closer to the red line, so that's no good. This one's much closer to the blue line. But this point here in the middle is the same distance to the red line as it is to the blue line. And if we move it across a little bit, so is this one, and so is this one, and so are any of these points here. So all of these points here form the locus, which is a straight line that goes right down the middle of the two original lines. You might notice that this splits the angle between the two lines in half. Therefore, you can recognize this from my constructions video as an angle bisector. So if we're asked to do this locus, we just need to construct an angle bisector. Let's have a look at an exam question on this one. Construct a locus of points that are the same distance from lines AB and AC. And here are the lines AB and AC. So we want any point that's the same distance from these two lines, which means we want the angle bisector. So we take a pair of compasses and draw this arc here. We take it off and usually open them up a bit wider, place it on this point and draw an arc, then place it on this point and draw an arc of the same size, and then connect the intersection point here right to the point of the angle, and we end up with the angle bisector, which is the locus of points. There is another locus related to this one as well. The question could have been worded like this. Any of the points that are closer to line AB than to line AC. So we would want any of the points above the locus that we previously constructed 
since all of these are closer to the line AB. Now we've covered lots of different loci here, and they are sometimes asked like this in exams, but sometimes they're asked in context too. Let's have a look at a few of those. For this question we have a map here, and it's on a centimetre grid, and we have a scale at the bottom. The question says this map shows the locations of three takeaways that offer delivery. Takeaway A will deliver to houses that are less than 4 kilometres away. Takeaways B and C will deliver to houses that are less than 3 kilometres away. Ronald's house can receive deliveries from all three of the takeaways. Shade the region of points where Ronald's house could be. So for this question we are after a locus of points, which are the points where Ronald's house could be located. The key thing being that he can receive deliveries from all three of the takeaways. So if we look at takeaway A, which only delivers to houses that are less than 4 kilometers away, we can be sure that Ronald's house is less than 4 kilometers away from takeaway A. Looking at the scale on the map, it says that 1 centimeter represents 0.5 kilometers. So if we draw a line that's 1 centimeter away from takeaway A, this is 0.5 kilometers. If we did another one, then we'd have another 0.5, so that would be 1 kilometer. Another one would be 1.5, then 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and then finally 4 kilometers away. So this point on the end here is exactly 4 kilometers away from the takeaway, but we want all of the points that are less than 4 kilometers away. So this is like the first locus that we looked at in the video. We need to construct a circle around the point A where this distance is the radius. So we would take a pair of compasses and construct a circle around this point. So something that looks like this. So we can be sure that Ronald's house is somewhere inside this circle. Of course we haven't drawn the whole circle because we're only going to draw on the map. Now if we look at the information for takeaways B and C. They only deliver to houses that are less than 3 kilometers away. So we'll repeat the same process we did for takeaway A but for B and C but for only 3 kilometers. So this would be 0.5 kilometers away, this would be 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5 and 3. So this point on the end here is 3 kilometers away. So we need to draw a circle where this distance is the radius. So we take the pair of compasses and draw this circle and it would look something like this. So Ronald's house must also be inside this circle. And if we repeat the process at point C as well and draw a circle there, then Ronald's house must also be inside this circle. So his house must be located inside all three of these circles and the only region that's inside all three of them is this one here in the middle. So this must be the region where his house is located. Sometimes exam questions ask you to label this region, they might say label the region R for example. If this is the case then you just write R on top of your region. Let's have a look at another exam style question. This question says ABCD is a quadrilateral, and here it is. The region R consists of all points that are, inside the quadrilateral ABCD, closer to AB than AD, and within 6 centimeters of point D. Show by shading the region R. Firstly, it must be inside the quadrilateral ABCD, so we're looking for any of the points inside this shape. But it must be closer to AB than AD, so it must be closer to this line here AB than it is to this line here AD. Now to identify those points, we're first of all going to construct the locus of points that are not closer to AB than AD, but are the same distance between AB and AD, which is the angle bisector of the angle BAD. So if we construct the angle bisector of that angle, it would look something like this. Now we know that this line shows all of the points that are the same distance, the points to the right of this line in this region must be closer to the line AB. We'll come back to that region in a moment. Now we can look at the final condition, which is the points must be within 6 centimeters of the point D. So we'll take a ruler for this, get a pair of compasses and open them to 6 centimeters, and draw a 6 centimeter circle around the point D. Of course, once again, we don't need the whole circle because we know the points must be inside the quadrilateral. If we must be within 6 centimeters of the point D, then we must be inside this arc here. But we said previously that we must also be inside this region here. So if we're inside both of those regions, we must be in the overlapping part in the middle, which is this region here. So this is the region R. Let's have a look at one final question. For this question it says, here's a map of a park, and here's the map. An ice cream van comes to the park and wants to be located inside the park, well that makes sense, closer to the playground than the entrance. 
and at least 100 meters from the toilets. We need to show by shading the region where the ice cream van could be located. So the first condition is that we must be inside the park, which means we must be inside this square here. We also need to be closer to the playground than the entrance. To find these points, we're first of all going to construct the locus of points that are not closer to the playground, but are the same distance between the playground and the entrance. This is the perpendicular bisector. So if we construct the perpendicular bisector between the playground and the entrance, it would look something like this. So any point on this line is the same distance between the playground and the entrance. But the ice cream van wants to be closer to the playground, so it wants to be above this line in this region here. Now it also needs to be at least 100 meters from the toilets. And this question has a scale on the map again. Every centimeter on the map will represent 20 meters in real life. So if we write this down as a ratio, one centimeter on the map represents 20 meters in real life. If we're looking for at least 100 meters in real life, we need to convert this to a distance on the map. To get from 20 meters to 100 meters, we would multiply by five. So if we multiply one centimeter by five, we get five centimeters. So 100 meters in real life will correspond to five centimeters on the map. So instead of saying at least 100 meters from the toilets, we could say at least five centimeters from the toilet, but on the map. So we'll take a ruler and a pair of compasses and set them to five centimeters. If we place this onto the point of the toilets and draw ourselves an arc here, we're looking for any point that's not inside this circle, since we want to be at least 100 centimeters away from the toilets. But we also need to be inside this region we've already shaded. So if we remove the points that are too close to the toilets, we end up with this region here. And that is the answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and why not try the exam questions in this video's description.